Hey guys, welcome to Gaming Back for you another video, and today we're covering the FAL OSW, also known as DSA 58 OSW Operational Specialist Weapon. So, basically, a different version of the FAL here with a short barrel. What we're going to do is get into it, we're going to show you how to build it, see what the recoil looks like, and then how it handles in game. So, here we have the final build. build. Let's go ahead and strip it down. So, the main differences here building this from scratch is the barrel. We want that 13 inch OSW para. So, there's a compact medium. Counter barrel improves speed and agility with minor decrease in muzzle velocity and accuracy. So the pros are the ADS speed and the movement speed. Cons being bullet velocity and recoil control. But this is more of our mobile weapon build for the OSW oper operational specialist weapon. So we're going to go ahead and do that 13 inch barrel. We can skip out on the laser here for the optic. I'm going to go ahead and do the combat hollow sight. Again, this is personal preference. You can do really whichever one you want for this particular build. But we're using this more as a running and gunning type build, being that it is OSW short barrel. The stock, I'm gonna go ahead and do the Ford's Tack Stalker stock. This gives us that more modern-ish look of the DSA 50 or the FAL OSW. So that we're gonna do that Ford's Tack Stalker. This is gonna help with our aiming stability. And you can see there with the stats, if I select this overall, this is the best butt stock you're gonna get in the game when it comes to accuracy. You can see how it compares to everything else. Our mobility takes a slight hit versus some of the other builds, but definitely uh, for accuracy, what we want here and the stability as it provides. And then we're going to go ahead and do ammunition. We're going to want that 24-inch mag. I like the way this looks. Again, we're trying to make it, it make it into the DSA-58. Really what we need is a blueprint for this, but we don't have it because the DSA-58 in real life has a uh, Picatinny rail on the handguard as seen in Black Ops 2. So we don't have that version now, so we're going to have to make the best we can until we get a blueprint. So then we're going to go ahead and do the range of four grips. This is going to help with our recoil control and aiming stability. Cons being aim while walking speed as well as aim down sight speed. And there are our five attachments. So some of these are subjective. The main thing being here is the barrel with that 13-inch OSW para. But this is our final design for the FAL para. Or I'm sorry, the FAL OSW. I'm really hesitant to call it the DSA-58 OSW. Really what we need, as I said, is a blueprint to give it a Picatinny rail on the handguard. And then we'll basically have the same variant seen in Black Ops 2. And that's modeling produced by DSA, which is an American company who produced a modern version of the fail. So this is as close as we're going to get for now. Hopefully that blueprint comes out. But what I've seen from leaks, we're not getting it in Season 1, at least from what I've seen, unless it does eventually come. But I know at some point we're going to get that. So for now, we'll call this the FAL OSW. And when we get that blueprint and we can make it more like the real DSA-50, then we'll do that video. But um, internally, it's all the same for in-game purposes, at least. That blueprint is going to give it a different cosmetic modern look. But we've kind of replicated it the best we can here. So let's go ahead and get a game, check out Recoil, and see how it handles in-game against bots. Okay, so now that we're in game with our FAL OSW, Shotgun. technically our DSA-58 OSW, let's go ahead and look at the recoil. So I won't control it first, I'll just let it rip. So you can see there, it kind of corrects itself. Now if we control it, almost worse. So you're almost better off. I'm not, maybe I'm not the greatest at recoil control. If we crouch... And again, this rate of fire is as fast as you want it, so I can... Can kind of let it rip right there you can see how accurate it can be if you're good at controlling your recoil so hip fire on this not really what you want to be using it for pretty big spread so now we've checked that out let's go ahead and see how it handles in game so again what this is is a more of a carbine variant of the fal para so we have that 13 inch osw barrel on this and what that's going to do is make this a more CQC variant of the rifle. So, uh, as I said, I'm waiting for a blueprint of the weapon to make it a true DSA-58 OSW like we saw in Black Ops 2. So that's essentially what we're going to see when we get a good variant of this with a blueprint that gives us the Picatinny rails on the handguard, give us that more modernized version. But for now, this is pretty close to replicating that. So you can see, it's still very accurate when we let it rip. 
close range. You can the rate of fire on this, you can make it almost full auto if you have a good trigger finger, right? Right there, basically full auto the way we let it rip. So the stats for this are going to be essentially the same, being that it is really a, a shortened version of the Foul Para. As I said, when we get the OSW version, um, aesthetic, the cosmetics will change, but it's still going to have the same stats. But for this particular weapon, oh boy. There we go. So definitely check out the Foul Para variant of the video that I did to go over that specific version. But the statistics are going to be typically the same. The initial Foul itself is developed in 1953 through present, one of the most widely used rifles in history, right up there with the AKM. And you can see it at range like that, it's pretty decent. Still able to get on target. If you wanted a different scope on this to toggle, maybe an integral hybrid or a four times slip sight, um, that would help even more, right? So it's about a two to three shot kill, depending on the range. Three right there. And you can, uh, I love the fact that you can make, basically make this into a full auto weapon. So the rate of fire is 700 rounds per minute when fully automatic. Obviously, since we're a semi-automatic weapon and we can't, they don't have the ability to switch it to full auto. Um, it's basically as fast as you can fire. So the muzzle velocity on this is going to be 810 meters per second. Effective range is going to be 50. Whoa. There we go. All right. So the effective range is going to be 300 to 600 meters on this particular build. Feed system is going to be 20 to 30 round box mag. You can also have a 50 round drum mag on it in real life if you wanted that, which obviously we don't have that choice in here. And then the sights are just the standard amateur sights. So mainly what we want to be covering is a DSA 50 OSW, which this will be when we get the right blueprint, as I said. Oh boy. Not bad at hip fire if you're right up close, but definitely not a hip fire weapon that you want to be relying on, even with the right sights on it. Let's see if they come up here. Here we go. So. Basically full auto. This thing's a beast, especially after the patch, they reduced the muzzle climb of this weapon significantly. And you can see right there, being a 7.62 by, by 51 nato round, it hits very heavily. So this thing definitely does high damage, very fast TTK. Three, round, three shot kill, one, two, three. Three shot kill, I think it's even three up close too. So no matter what, you're gonna get a three shot kill, but you can really have this fire. So you can be more accurate if you're not firing this this fast, obviously. That fast rate of fire, that muzzle climb is hard to control. But at medium range like that, you can stay right on target and just wreck wreck through people definitely tears through enemies so really the dsa 50 variant of this weapon osw dsa 50 the one we see in black ops 2 is about designed by dsa arms so david Salvigo arms the american make american company what they did is they basically made a copy of the fail and called it the dsa 50 takes retains a lot of the same features of the initial fail but more modernized. So specifically the DSA-50 OSW Operational Specialist Weapon is an assault carbon variant of the paratrooper model that we did in another variant video. So it's a different, it's a carbine variant of the FAL, more modernized, um, side fold and enhanced parapolymer stock, which again, more modernized stock versus the basic skeleton that we see in game here. Oh. There we go. Um, shorter, 279 millimeter, 11 inch. There we go. 11 inch or 330 millimeter, 13 inch barrel. So you have two different options there for the 11 or 13. This being the 13, obviously. And an optional full auto setting in the real life variant for uh, military and police personnel. Unfortunately, in this game, we don't have the full auto setting, as I said. But again, you can fire this thing 
fast enough that it's technically full auto if you have a good trigger figure. Uh, in real life, it comes 5, 10, 20, or 30 round capacity. You can also get a drum mag in real life or some variants, but not really a, uh, a viable option. <laughs> I wouldn't want a drum mag on this. But it handles really well. This is your CQC variant of the FAL OSW. And this is by far my favorite variant of this weapon. Your time to kill with this is going to be great. Assuming you can be accurate with it, right? <laughs> Not there. But look how it just rips through these guys. And then you can hip fire close, close range if you really need to like that, but uh, obviously not your best option. Best vert build of the fail that I've played with so far. It does work very well online. Probably get some footage for you guys eventually. But um, definitely a viable option of this rifle. I think this is the best build if you have a good trigger figure for sure. Let me know what you guys think of this version below. I know this was a requested one for sure by a lot of you guys. Oh my god. Even the bots using shotguns. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to leave your builds that you would like to see me build going forward. Again, with Season 1 coming, we do have some a good amount of conversions that we're going to be covering with the new weapons, especially with the blueprints. There were a lot of blueprints and everything leaked for the Battle Pass system, so I can't show any of that really in this video, otherwise I'll get in trouble. But I've seen all the blueprints, and I think we have some pretty good uh, conversions coming here in Season 1 when I can unlock all the blueprints and then the weapons also. So I'm looking forward to that. Let me know what you guys think about the Foul OSW. Be sure to follow me on Twitch and my other links down below. Good ways to get a hold of me. And be sure to check out the live streams on Twitch as well as here on YouTube too. We'll be doing uh, probably Friday, Saturday, and Sunday this week. And usually on weekends and maybe Thursday nights I think are our streaming nights typically. But definitely the best version of the Foul that I've played with. So I'm Buffner Gaming. This is the FAL OSW, also the DSA 58 OSW. Till next time, Buffner Gaming, out.